Okay, oh. let's take a look here. So, playing into Fizz, what was your thought process? Um, like, I'm trying to do a 3-stack. Three, three mm -hmm. Try to harass him as much as I can and get him low, get him on a bad reset. Yep. That's like... Like, I've seen other faults for this, so I know it, like, theoretically, but execution is uh, not always there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, there you go. That's all right. So let's let's break this down here. Reason why this wasn't a tree stack was because we went too aggressive. Yeah, I altered him too much, didn't I? Yep. So I think this initial out attack on the middle minion right here is good because that means that we can basically what what we can even do is we can even not out to it and just queue it so we get uh, all the three at the same time. We don't lose any CS. Yes, Fizz will be able to catch the front three minions as well, but it is what it is, right? That's okay. But at least we're not fucking up the wave. Uh, because we out attack the fist right here, what happens is. Let's take a look here. Yeah. See these little dots? That means that now these minions are targeting us. So, what's gonna happen if, if the minions target us, our minions take less damage. Which means that in. Like in a different world, we're actually just pushing faster now because we out attack the fist. Yeah. Wait. I have lit it. I have never seen those dots. Oh, yeah, the, the dots is if 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 you wow. uh, yeah you have aggro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow, I played this in season one. I don't think I've ever seen it. <laughs> the video for quite a while actually. Wow. Already learned something today. <laughs> that's that's amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, so you knew that. Oh damn. <laughs> That's my funny. Wife, she also plays. She, she, and she knew. On this game. Yeah. Uh, that's funny, actually. That's funny. She knew. Nah. Yeah, and that's basically it, man. Because we just hit him too much, right? Well, our means push too fast, and we actually get a two stack instead of a three stack. Yeah. All that's right. simple. So we just slow it down wave one at the beginning of wave two. Then we're just chilling. Yeah, I think. I went a bit like I was mentally all like jacked off, like alright, I'm gonna, you know, beat the crap out of this guy. Uh -huh. So I wasn't really thinking about uh well, me and aggro. I think my CS is also really low this game. That's okay. Like at this point at least. That is alright. So I think what I what I think is really good from you, right, is that we pick up W here. Because what do we see a lot in these in these matchups, right? Is we wanna start a trade off with W. Yes. And because the W is just so easy to hit, such a long range. So I really like that we do this. And wh what I just want you to do is I want you to focus on this. This creep right here. I'm going to contest this creep from the face. I want you to be at a safe distance from it as well. So to contest this creep, face has to walk up at least right here. So mm -hmm. what we can do is we can literally stand here and we're chilling. And then he will never be able to hit us. So this is probably the best possible position where we can stand. And what we do is right, we throw it a little bit too far, a little bit too late, yeah. and we are a bit too close. So he's able to do this to us. But still, right. we stand him on the back end. But the problem is that we lose our bone playing right here, and this is going to bite us in the ass. Okay. Really good that we pick up the W again. Yep. Uh, this is what we want to do. Constantly. Perfect timing before the before the CS. This guy has to walk up. We hit the W. And when we hit the W, that's when the enemy slowed. Yes. So what we can then do is we can contest the next one with a Q spot on. We rushed it a little bit. Q is a bit too fast. Um and face juke the Daoist nicely, but the ID was really good. Now we really want the wave to come back into us. So we gotta be a bit careful with our ability usage onto the wave. Okay. Yeah. What we learn from this is we now learn that Fizz can also do different trading patterns right here. 
You can also go through the minions, so that means that to contest this creep, right? Um, wait, well, there is actually nothing for us to, con I don't know, this, to contest this creep. What we have to do is instead of standing so close to the minion, we gotta be standing right here. Right. Much farther. Yeah, I'm also leveled down at this point, so. Exactly. I don't, I don't think I really should be there. A little bit too far up. Just let him have the one. Okay. Very good. P perfect Q right here. Maybe we can pick up a W right now. Idea of picking up W is perfect. I think we slightly rushed it though. There's no CS for him to go for. I think we can also just throw out QEs a bit more. Right on this one, for example, you can definitely Q and also combine it with E. But that's that's good. Yeah, well, I have a habit of throwing out a lot of E's, so I'm trying to slow that down a bit. If that makes sense. Okay. I mean, this was really good. We get ganked and we are very patient with our ability usage. Really good that we throw W first, right? We don't insta QE. And then uh, this guy slowed, we finish up with QE. So this was really well played on the gank. So to really recap this lane real quick, right? We got the, the, the early waves. We know how to do that right now. And I think if we, uh, we, we got a space a little bit better, slightly more distance from the fizz and i want you to put a bit more emphasis on the minions right on which means uh fizz is going for and that's also going to be number three is we really want to be timing our cs because it's a melee character it's actually really easy to bully them on cs um so time our abilities a bit more with the cs that's from the early lane right here let's continue right. any questions by the way no perfect i think uh it's pretty clear Okay, so Wave's in a beautiful position, we have Bone Plating, and we have got Boots, so we deal a shit ton of damage onto this guy. What's what's our goal right here? Yeah, that's a really good question. Probably had to bully him out. But... Okay, how are we gonna do not that? Really, not really sure how to do that. Well, that's actually one of the things I kinda struggle with, is like, when I get a lead, I don't really feel like I'm really like you know making use of it uh -huh. i just continue doing the same thing whether i have a lead or whether i'm behind so well all right in this case i would say try to get away from my side exactly uh, so very simple number one wave look at the beautiful waves that waves pushing into us so if the waves on our side it's perfect because fist has then to overcommit deep and we can then take good quality trades so that's going to be my main goal. So the, what, what, what's most important right here is that we actually trade onto Fizz and thin out the wave. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is we can position ourselves in a way where we can actually start hitting the Fizz and the wave. So what can be really good to do is check a ward right here. We also have our Rengar on top side right now, so we got a bit of cover. Pick up one of these caster creeps. And maybe when Fizz gets too close, we can actually look for WQ, where we also uh, hit the wave. And it's okay to just QE right here, for example. Right, just QE, get more AOE on the wave, because we want to thin it out. Mainly these caster creeps. This is what we want to thin out here. Get a mm. bit too close again. It's good. Yeah, so I think right here, if I think there's too many caster creeps still alive. <coughs> if we have like these two dead or something like that, we're actually in an amazing position. And we come a bit too close to the fizz again. That's, that he's able to cue us. Mm -hmm. But this QE, very solid stuff. He has no potions, so every bit of damage that we land onto him will stick. So let's try to keep the wave in this position. It's good that we don't use too much abilities right now, unless... 
gotta be careful, he's 6 as well. Now it's time to fin. Nice W, beautiful W. Very nice Q, really worth trading Q for his E. So uh, he has no E right here. So what we can do is we can yeah. just look for QE and we tin the wave. This is like the best possible QE angle right here. Well, that's like, what are we pushing it out then? Like break the freeze? Not yet. No. We got okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we got two very low ones. So I think we're we're fine just thinning it out. Okay. And even if it's building like really slowly into Fizz, that's also okay. Because then we're just gonna be able to pressure him with a building wave. Yeah, like perfect. Really well done. You gotta be careful, you can just R. Okay. Always yeah. hold our R until Fizz has used his E. Um yeah. Actually he did before. I checked this one in the the replay he literally got the that's where he using he got the e back as the balls were flying towards him so i slightly okay. mistimed it okay okay i think the idea was uh, okay i that's thought good. it was a good idea but if you thought about it then that's important cool. okay he misses r that's so good for us beautiful wave state Yeah, so we can do two things here. We can either keep the wave on our side like here, or we can hard shove. I think both is fine. We shove, we reset, we get it. Beautiful. And now it's just rinse and repeat. Keep the wave on our side. Get these trades onto Fizz when he tries to shove it in. Nice. We start with W a lot. Very good, very good habit. Beautiful habit. Really, really good. Oh, thank you. W, Q, E. We can just Q, E through the wave here. We can thin it out and hit the fizz. Yeah, I'm not thinking a lot about uh, wave states, to be honest. That's okay, man. So. Oh, yeah, but now this point out, it's like, ah, oh, that uh, makes sense. It does, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's quite often when someone actually tells you, like, oh, yeah, could have figured it out myself. Let's take a look here. So, did our team not kill the Nocturne? Oh, wait, he did. we did. Fizz Rome's bot. Yeah. Hmm. I think I do ping it a bit late. Don't yeah. I? A little bit late, but it is what it is. Don't want to focus too much on that. Pretty good QE, actually. Well done. Okay, Fizz has no R. He uses a bot. He's pushing into us. Look at this. What what you see a lot is that people just fuck up, right? Make mistakes. Okay. This guy just starts hitting the wave. Massive blunder. Because now we can just try to keep the wave on our side again. And arrest him for it. Okay, and this is okay. Because he only hits us yes. with the E here. So if that happens, we just... Look how far we're away from him. He will never be able to out attack us from this range. So when this happens, right, what we can just do is he just uses E. We can just Q, R, chunk him, E, W, Q. Q, R, E, W, Q. All yeah. Right. So, so we go for the guaranteed stun. Exactly. And the reason why we use Q first is to get an extra ball on our yeah. R. Ideally, you hit that one too, but hey. I mean, it's 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 practically the same concept right here. We got the same amount of damage off, so it's good. 
it's good and the wave is still amazing so i think we make a little mistake when wave management here because the, the wave is actually perfect for us right ah, now yes yes come towards me again yeah Okay, we dodge out on his R. Even if it lands, he doesn't kill us because we are bone planning. That's why bone planning is so good. Yeah. Okay. And Nocturne probably has R again. Get the wave in. Good stuff. <laughs> Hello, what? Hello? Hello. There we go. Okay, good reset. Bit unfortunate gold amount, but it is what it is. Nocturne, no R. Okay. <laughs> this guy is missing every R. That's so good for us. Oh, yeah, he's fucked. Q. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Like, if he does all of his abilities like this, just stand your ground and, and chase him down, because he has nothing. Absolutely nothing. Q, R. And he just flashes. Yeah, that's completely fine to just R him there. Well done. <laughs> yeah, I like to just keep him low. Yeah, very good, very good. Because the lower he is, the more trouble for him it is to actually do something to us. So if we can R like that, very good. Really good R usage in this lane. Yeah, that's what I said at the beginning, that I play very passively. Then what happens there, if they're full health and they have their ults, I just, and you send them near tower, they're just like, ah, it's fine, I'll go kill your bot lane. Or your top lane, or whatever. Yeah. Very nice. This is really good. Mid diff. Is it now? Okay, now we gotta be a bit careful. This guy is R, we're really far up in the lane. And we ideally just wanna stall a little bit out until we have mythic. Because we're a bit of a power trough right here. So, <clears throat> what, what I think is really good is that we right now so just. A what, a what now? A power, power trough. trough. So, right. uh, you got like a this, you got the, this yeah. is a spike, and this the is opposite a opposite of a spike. Exactly. Okay. So we got to be a bit careful right here. So right here, what I would... That's oh. just because I'm sitting on so much gold, basically. Spot on. Spot uh, on. Yeah, that makes sense. I would just stay. We, we need 300 gold until our next mythic. I would just stay two more waves, then we have our, have our, have our gold. Or maybe even one wave with this cannon and then we just sell our refill. I think that's the play, probably. Yeah, we should have just waited one more wave, sell the refill, and then just come back with Mythic. And then we're like really fucking strong. We get the... Well, we don't get the help, but we do get the kills. Alright, man. Is there anything else you want to take a look at here? Any other questions about this fault? No, not really. All right. Uh, no, it was mainly about laning. I wanted to see, uh, well, where I was at, because like two weeks ago it did not look like this. So I've been, uh, well, I've just been sending it, like playing really mm -hmm. aggressive, and uh, well, this is where I'm at. So I was wondering what you thought about it. I mean, I, I think like especially from. Past this point, right? Past we get the kill onto Fizz, I think we, we absolutely smurfed it from really? this point. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually felt like past the kill that, that didn't really do much. Like, I don't know. I, I feel I, like I should get more done. I mean, we missed a lot of trading windows, but the most important part is that we just stayed alive, we held the wave in a decent position, right? And we were able to just skill up, what? get damage off. 
Oh, and wait, this is... so, oh, go so ahead. This is just the fact that we basically don't allow fish to play. Yes. Is that the thing? Yes, because Death Champion doesn't work in, in mid to late game if he's behind. If he if he doesn't yeah. snowball, the champion doesn't quite work. Right. Huh. I never thought of it like that. Yeah. I only thought of like I I need to accelerate myself, <laughs> basically. So I got a kill, I need to do, do get more, kill him again, or you know, that kind of stuff, or get a tower. Well but I I feel like I'm just farming here. Yeah. <laughs> And that's what Zindra wants, because we skill much better than Fizz. It's much easier to play our champion in the mid to late game. And around these ob objectives, like in, in a team fight, we're just going to be way more useful than a Fizz. So if we can do that, we're in a good position. I think the main learnings right here, right, where one, with the three wave stack, we've covered that. I think some of our spacing. Sometimes we get a bit too close to Fizz. I also think that when it comes to our ability usage, I think we can find a bit more windows if we really time it with CS. And then finally, um, I, th I think this is something we did well, but it's something to emphasize is when we are in, in a situation like this, we got the wave in a position where we want it to have, we can combine thinning plus trading. And that's the learnings from this vault. Pretty good stuff. Right. Any other questions about this one? No. Awesome, man. Great stuff. All right.